To make a water bottle rocket, you need two 2 liter soda bottles, one with the bottom cut off. You join them together. The one on the left is fully intact. To join them together, you need duct tape. Look at the fins on the left, and also the two tennis balls with the paper towels on the right for mass, and then you can decorate it with duct tape. You can buy water bottle rocket stands at any science supply store. Uh, you can see how it's all put together. You do need a separate air pump, and the amount of air pressure you put into the water bottle rocket varies. This one's 60 psi, so you decide how much water you put in there to begin with as also. And here it is at launch. Depending on the, all the variables like fin type, fin placement, the amount of water, the amount of air pressure you put in there, the distance that these water bottle rockets varies greatly. I mean, it can go very little, maybe you know, 10 to 15 yards, <laughs> till you can get a couple of them going up to about 60, 70, 80, even to 100 yards. I've used them on a football field, and 60 yards out, I've placed a water bottle rocket right up through the uprights of a field goal. All right, go for it. Now we're going to take a look at four times slower playback rate and you can see the water come out through the nozzle. The nozzle of the bottle creates high pressure situations so that the water flows much faster coming out and so that propels the rocket forward. So this activity involves a lot of science, thrust, Newton's third law of motion, and this is a perfect scientific investigation activity for your students they get to be the scientists, they get to pick the variables they want to change that can be tested such as fin placement and also fin size and other variables in which they can totally adjust along the way to see if they get maximum performance out of the rocket. 